Hello, I want to find some Mars. And Turncoats McConnell, Vince McConnell, and Paul Ryan are backing this uh, BS story about the uh, CIA saying that the Russians basically helped Trump get elected, which I reject completely. Excuse me, I cast my vote of my own volition. The Russians had nothing to do with it. There's no way in hell I would have ever voted for hologram Hillary, I'll tell you that much. Some were obviously influenced by the media and the reports. There's no way in hell I could have ever voted for that uh, disgusting creature, however. And here they have a screenshot. It's on a video. Uh, there was a problem with the video. It kept repeating incompetent, politicized. No need to discuss any further move on. The administration waiting more confident in itself and its own legitimacy. And I said, these are serious issues. We intend to hear them out. Nothing is more pressing than our democratic process. We've asked the Obama administration for details. Uh, Washington Post is one of the snakes in the grass. When I, when I do a uh, video on them, that's usually what they're going to get is some snakes in the grass uh, video. Two top Republicans in Congress offered strong support for the intelligence community Monday in sharp contrast to President like Donald Trump's attack on CIA after reports the agency found that the Russian government tried to help him win the presidency. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he had the highest confidence in the intelligence agencies, while House Speaker Paul Ryan praised them for working diligently to take on cyber threats from foreign governments. But both leaders also warned against using the issue for partisan gain or casting doubt on the outcome of the election. McConnell singled out the CIA for praise and said the Senate Intelligence and Armed Services panels will investigate findings by intelligence agencies that Russia hacked into the emails and computers using, used in the presidential campaign. Uh, that's BS. Uh, uh, professionals would not be leaving trails. I can do a whole video on that alone. Any foreign breach of our cybersecurity measures is disturbing, and I strongly condemn any such efforts. The colonel told reporters, and he added later, Russians are not in our friends. And it talks about that Washington Post article which disgusted me. Any uh, intervention by Russia is especially problematic because under President Putin, Russia has been an aggressor and has consistently undermines American interests, Ryan said in a statement Monday, as we work to protect our democracy from foreign influence, we should not cast out on the clear and decisive outcome of this election. Well, that's what you're doing, uh, Mr. Speaker, is you're playing right into the hands of the people who want to turn the electors uh, to vote for hologram Hillary instead of the guy who was elected who was Donald Trump. Now, I'm looking at Donald Trump's cabinet, and I'm saying, right, like, he's really on the side of the Russians? You look at his cabinet, he's got some mean SOBs in it. And Kelly and uh, Mad Dog Mattis and so forth. This guy isn't going to take any bull with Russia. He might negotiate with him. Now, he's got Rex Tillerson in there for Secretary of State. He might negotiate with him, I'm sure he will. But we're going to have to live with the Russian. We got two choices here. 
either we live with the Russians and we deal with them some way, or we get into a nuclear war. Now, I'm asking those of you who are out there, which would you prefer? That we negotiate with the Russians, work on uh, settlements, and get, you know, get them to uh, basically stay within their own borders, or do you want to try to blow them up and nuke half the world into non-existence? Which is the better of the two courses? Trump team attacked CIA for its findings. And I, I didn't find anything on CIA's website. And scoffed at its credibility, blaming the agency for faulty intel analysis that Iraq had WMDs for 2003 invasion of Iraq. Trump piled on with a tweet on Monday. What this is is an attempt to try and delegitimize President elect Trump's win uh, so Jason Miller, who's a spokesman for Trump. It really seems to be what's going on here. I agree. White House Defendant's Intel Community Monday, Press Secretary Josh Ernest saying spy agencies are staffed by patriots. Yeah, but the White House isn't. The White House is staffed by an American hater, Mr. Ernest. His name is Barack Obama, and he hates this country with passion. There you have it, the Republicans are turning on Trump. They give lip, lip surface to the idea, well, it's not going to harm the election. Yeah, it just might. They managed to turn enough, the DNC has been threatening electors, and if they managed to turn enough of them to vote for hologram Hillary, you know what happens. Well, there's going to be a civil war if that happens, in all likelihood, I would think. The artifacts of Mars, this has been a Rhino's on the Loose update.